Hello there, I'm Mafia and I'm back with some more computer craft. Today I'll be showing you the update for the mod. It is version 1.51. Now let's get started right away. There are two main features. First of all, it is adapting to the newest version of Minecraft 1.5 by uh, well, having a little tweak for redstone. And also those cables right here, which are... Let me see the name. It is Wired Modems as opposed to wireless modems. Now then, let's get started right away. First of all, let's have a look at the RS API. RS, like that. And you see there are a few more functions. Get analog input, get... or set analog output, and get analog output. Now, basically, if you do set output and you set the thing to true, it will be equivalent to doing set analog output with a number which will have a value of 15, which is the maximum uh, mid, uh, the maximum distance some resident can go. Now let's check out those functions right now by do going to the Lua console, like that, and doing RS dot set analog output. The side will be left, and we will set that to a value of 4. As you can see, the redstone is going, or the signal is going up to there, but this lamp is still on, because that's how redstone works. But you get one, two, three, four uh, pieces of wire which are ignited, and we can set that also to six, for example. It will go even further, and let's put everything to zero. And shazam! As you can see, it went off. Now. Uh, there are probably a whole bunch of things you can do with a redstone. I haven't really um, done much testing, but yeah, well, that's some stuff you can do by yourselves. Now, let me show you what you can do with the cables. It's pretty fun. Well, you can do some interesting s things anyway. Uh, but first thing, uh, let's see the functions would belong to this peripheral with the wild, the wired modem by doing peri, which is a program which will get all the functions for a, a for a specific peripheral and it will be at the right there we have it so we have open is open close close all transmit is wireless get names remote is present remote get types remote get methods remote and call remote now the functions we will be mostly import, um, interested in will be the five last one so get names remote is present remote get type remote get methods remote and call mef and call remote and let's see. So we'll pr pretty much try all methods. So first thing you want to do is you want to activate the modem like this. You don't need to activate the one on the computer right here because uh, I, f I guess if it's on, it will mean you can send some data through the wires. However, if it's off, you can still receive some data through the modem. It's what you'll see anyway. Now let's go to the Lua console and uh, let's let's well first all wrap the peripheral by doing um, let's call it P as peri peril dot wrap on the right side. There we go. Now let us see what we want to do. First of all is do get names remote. So let's declare another table and it's gonna be p dot get names remote. There we go. And in fact I'm going to activate two for the printer. So just as a just as an example. So let's do that, get names remote, and there should be two things in the table. So one we have monitor zero and printer zero. So that's cool. Let's deactivate the printer now. You have the names of the two monitors, so this is going to be useful for later. Then we have another function, get type remote. So this is to get the type. Now let's use get method remote. This will be to get the methods which belong to a specific peripheral. So we're going to do t equal p dot get methods remote. And we are going to indicate which will be the monitor, the or which will be 
the peripheral you want to inspect. So in this case it is monitor, 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 and it will be zero. There we go, and we'll get a whole bunch of functions. So what we're going to do is for i equal one to max of t, do print print t of position i v end, and we'll get all the functions which belong to the peripheral. So that's cool. That means all those functions you can use by doing p dot rem remote call, I think. There we go, remote call, and what you indicate first is which will be the peripheral you want to um, use a function on, so it will be monitor 0. Then you give the name of the function, so how about write? And finally a few arguments, whatever arguments you want. So in the case write, how about some um, basic text like Hello world. Oh. <laughs> what did I write this time? Or maybe it's call remote, not remote call. Yeah. Silly me. Oh, dang. Dang it. Oh well, attempt number two. Call remote. And this time it works. As you can see on the monitor, it says saying, Hello world. Now, I guess that's pretty much all I want to show you for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please take the time to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any ideas, suggestions, especially cons well, with a new update, let me know in the comment section. And since this is the end, I'll be saying goodbye, and see you next time.